what's up guys back to a new video and this is with naruto had the katsuri gone which allows you to control blood and had ice release without further ado let's get into this now naruto and kurama were friends in this and the ship is going to be Naruto. you know without further ado let's get into this now we start this off with Ino about to be captured by some bandits and she says hey let me go and Naruto sees her and she says hey stop right there pointing at the bandits and they say scram kid before you get hurt and one with a scar above his eyebrow pulls out a switchblade and flicks it up and Ino screams but no one can hear her but Naruto still courageous as ever runs towards him the bandit's like, I said scram, and he stabs Naruto in his arm, but realizes it doesn't hurt Naruto. Naruto tries to tackle the bandit, but the bandit kicks him back with his leg. And Kurama's pissed off by this, and he says, so, you want to hurt my friend, huh? And the QB takes over Naruto. But in this instant, Naruto unlocked something special. And Kurama knew what this was. And this was the Katsuri gun. The special blood eye of the Chinoke clan. This eye was strong enough to basically destroy these bandits. Even the Kyubi Chakra One Tails alone was able to destroy these bandits. Naruto summoned a blade of blood from the blood dripping from his cheek and he ran towards the bandit. He said, This is revenge stabbing the bandit through the throat and then he rushed towards the other who was packing up Ino and he smashed his head into the ground and then he kicked him up and took the same switchblade and jammed it into his throat twisting around killing him and Naruto detransforms and he seems a bit drowsy and he says hey are you okay and Ino at first was scared but Naruto walks towards her and he gives her a hug, and Ino starts to blush. And she says, oh, yeah, thank you. Naruto said, did they do anything to you or something? And she's like, no, thankfully not. And Naruto's like, you want me to escort you home? And she says, sure. Now we skip forward a few minutes. Naruto takes Ino home. She thanks him, and her father does. But her father says, okay, but I'm going to need you to leave my land now. Naruto says, I understand and he leaves now Ino didn't understand why her father said this but she will in the future we're gonna skip forward a few years Naruto had been training with Kurama learning how to master his Ketsuri gun and he learned about another clan that he was a part of that had another Kekigenkai and this came from Kurama Kurama knew about this because he had used ice release before and he knew of all of the clans that ever existed in the shinobi world. Well, most of them he thought he knew of. Well, there'll be a new one I may introduce later on. Now, this is the final day of the academy and Naruto is sitting down and in class, Naruto is calm and collected. He never even speaks, rarely. The only time he speaks as well to some of the girls, Ino and Hinata, which is pretty much only two. Now, one day, Sakura walked into class and she was pissed and she's like, Naruto, move, that's my seat. I sit next to Sasuke and Naruto's just ignoring her. And Sasuke doesn't want Naruto to move because he would rather sit next to someone who's quiet than Sakura. He's thinking, Sakura's a nuisance, honestly. I don't know why he never stands up to her. But Naruto was in a bad mood in this day. And he said, Sakura, shut up! You have no friends, no one likes you, and go and sit down. And this shocked Ino, who had never seen Naruto angry, or at least a small bit angry. She had seen him obviously go full rage mode on the bandit's bar. She's talking about like in a general situation when he's not fighting. And she's like, remind me not to anger him. Now, Ino always had a crush on Naruto. But Sakura still kept trying to annoy Naruto. Naruto had enough. So he stood up. And this is when Aruka Sensei came in. And he said, 
take your seats. And Enrique said, Naruto, you sit there. And he says, well, Sakura is nagging me to try and move. And Enrique says, okay, I'll change your seeing plan. Kibo, go sit where Naruto's sitting. Sakura, go sit where Kibo was sitting. And Naruto, sit well over this space. And Naruto sees a seat next to Ino. And Naruto runs towards it and sits down. And they're having a conversation. I mean, conversation. And Aruka says, <coughs> And they both become quiet. And he says, Anyway, today you'll be doing the Genin tribes or test. And people were like, Wait, today's a test? And most of the people who weren't part of clans had forgot about this, excluding Naruto. And Naruto said, I mean, he did send a one day notice to us before. You guys' parents probably just don't t- check the mail at least. And the rest of the clan kids said, Yeah. Even Sasuke said, Yes. And his clan was dead. Now, Naruto was thinking in his head, <laughs> How easy is this test going to be? Karama did teach me a lot of things. But our training methods are a bit raunchy and let's just say cruel for any human to endure. I will not tell you about what these are. If you want to know, well, just ask me in the comments. Now, Naruto is thinking in his head. I wonder who else is going to pass and I wonder whose squad I'm going to be on. And Aruka says, right. And he calls up da 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 da, whoever was first, I forgot. He says, okay, Naruto Uzumaki. And Naruto is taken off of guard. And he says, Naruto. And Naruto's like, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, what? He said, were well, you not listening right now? And Naruto said, no, not really. And Aruka said, oh, just come up. And Aruka said, okay, you need to make one shadow clone. And Naruto says, easy, I can make about 50, I think. And he puts his hands together, not even using the hand signs. And he summons about 10 of them. And this shocks the whole class. But the thing is, they were interacting with things. Some were sitting down. One had a kunai in his hand. One was doing push-ups, all of that. And all of them are like, impossible. Shadow clones are only, Naruto says, Oh, distractions, right, well, mine, for some reason, they're living clones. And Aruka says, Naruto, I think you know the multi shadow clone jutsu. I think you, you used the wrong hand signs, or at least, maybe different ones to make the shadow clone jutsu. I didn't even see you make any hand signs. Naruto says, oh, well, I always prepare my hand signs before. I've learned how to hold in my attacks, basically. It's a special thing I've learned how to do. And this shocks Aruka, and he says, I see. He says, okay, next part, I need you to transform into someone. And Naruto says, easy. Then he turns into the first of card game and says, is this good enough? And Aruka is shocked, and he's like, yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm just going to skip through the other tests. These were the only tests you needed to know. These were the only ones that held importance, alright? Now, we skip forward to everyone doing the tests. Ino, Hinata, Kiba, Shino, Naruto, some random people, Sasuke, if I already didn't say him. All of Rookie 9 pass, pretty much. I was tempted to make Sakura not pass and fail. Now, Naruto was thinking and said, what's my squad going to be? Will Aruka sensei tell us today? And Aruka says, come back tomorrow to learn of who your joining sensei will be. And Naruto sighs and says, really? And he's like, okay, I'll just go home. Now, while Naruto's walking home, Ino catches up to him and says, oh, hey, Naruto. And Naruto grins at her and he knows Ino likes him. But she, he's waiting to see if she wants to make the move first. And he's playing dumb. He's like, oh, hey, you know, what do you need? And she says, well, I want to I wanna ask you on a date. And Naruto grins and says, see, Ino, I know, I know you like me. And this shocks Ino. 
He's like, sure, why not? I like you too. And he says straight to Eno's face, do you want to become my girlfriend? And this nigga Naruto has guts. He does not give two shits in this, okay? He does not have, he does not give two shits, nigga. All right? And she says, yes, simple, simple. He just asks her plain and simple. Now, first they go on ice cream day. Naruto plays for everything, pretty much. And then they go home and say their goodbyes. And Naruto grins and says, Maybe I do have some people I care for in this village. And before he was planning to leave, and Kurami says, you still want to take part in the plan? And he's like, at this point, I don't know. If you'll come with me, then yes. Sorry that this part was so short, but I'm starting to make sure it works now. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed, and see you later.